Hi, this is Bill. So there was a question from one of my students, like, what is the CMDB? So it's quite daunting um, for some people. And it is for me as well when I was starting, what is the CMDB? And right now, um, what you're seeing is a service that's a model, right? But all of this is basically sitting inside the CMDB because first, a CMDB is a, a repository, like um, a, a wardrobe, right? Where you keep on your clothes, right? And and um, probably I would describe it more of a house where you could uh, basically store different types of items, right? If you have a kitchen, right? You store or all your uh, ref refrigerate, your fridge, right? Your um, cookering, cookeries, oven, faucet, right, dishes, and so on, right? You have a room and so on, right? So that is that is um, a CMDB. It is a repository, right? So in this image, you will see at the middle. So this representation, let's say it is you, and you have your own house, right? And, and on non-technical terms, on the upper right, you will see um, the blue or blue-green, right? So it... it Tell us about business capability. So what does your house have, right? So for example, you have dining room, right? You have, so the dining room is a service area where you could basically dine in. So it's a capability to dine, right? So if you have a kitchen, you have the capability to cook because you have an oven, right? And if you have a bathroom, right? So it's it's a capability to allow you to uh, take a bath, right? And so on, right? And as you go down, right, the green pot, you have a request, right? So meaning one, one example of a request catalog, right, uh, based on the capability is let's say you would like to request for a service that is disrupting your capability. Let's say you have a water faucet, which is not working, right? Then you request, like, can someone fix your water faucet because the water is not running or probably there's a leak on your water, right? So on the left, as we go to the left, the orange part is, is the services, right? Is the services that make sure that your capability is not being disrupted, right? So you have the capability on the top, right? You go down to the green that basically requests uh, for help for any disruptions for fixing, right? On the orange part, of course, if there's like different capabilities, there will be different specializations, right? So if your um, electricity gone out, your electricity services, then you need to call an electrician Right, so it has like uh, a technical service offering to make sure your water electricity electricity is not being disrupted. Right now, on the upper left, you have the build option. Right, so we have the component to plan and build. So meaning the capability is not there yet. So let's say you have only one room and you'd like to have a second room to watch your cinema. Right, so you have you would like to have that another capability to be added to your offering, right on the upper right. So basically, that is um CMDB. It's a repository of all this um information, right? So it is um, a database, right? And uh, this um different database um um showing in these four quadrants. Right. Of course, it's governed by multiple people, right? So like a family in a house, you have your parents, right? You have your children who's looking after, probably you may have a helper, right? So there's a governance model that's basically looking after the whole house and the middle of the house of, is, of course, the owner, right? The owner of the house. Now, looking at it in a technical standpoint on this next slide, what you will see Right on the left, you have the um, different um, capability models, right, reflected in colors on the previous slide, right. But on the right, it is storing 
So this is the CMDB. You have the dots on the left, right? If you go back, this is the information, right? And you are storing it, right, inside the CMDB, right? So now, um, probably I will uh, do a demo, right? So you can basically see, see how they are stored and how they are represented, right? But before I do a demo, you will see each each um part of the CMDB has its own table. So on the right, all of these are tables. So they are separated according to its um, purpose, right? So it's it's making it organized. Earlier, I was talking about um, a wardrobe is for the clothes. So you have a shoe rack. You have a kitchen for your, um, for your kitchenware. You have a dining room for your dining table, right? Probably you have a garden, right, for your for your plants and so on, right? So those are the few examples on how we could compare a CMDB in a non-technical manner. So let us like uh, switch gears. I will give you a scenario on how it is basically being used in ServiceNow ITSM as a use case. Okay, so now we, as we move forward on ServiceNow, so this is the next experience view. Let's um, go to the incident module, right? As we go to incident module, right? So we click open, right? So um, let's create a new ticket, uh, incident ticket, dot meaning our capability is being disrupted, right? And someone has called out. So let's say Abel has called out, right? So as Abel has called out, so what is um, the category? Right. Of course, the category will emphasize which part of your house has been aff affected. Right. So let's say it's a network. Right. So what's um a subcategory of the network? So let's say DNS or wireless. So let's make it wireless. And now, what type of service offering? So as you choose here, right, there's an email service offering. Right. And as you move forward, right, so let's have let's say email as well if it has so so it depends what you have put in and let's say um a network crack so meaning um the the network crack basically supports the capability of the email right and this is what's uh, being impacted right for that particular service so we were talking about electricity right or water service right so if if a pipe broke down it's a dependency of the faucet, a pipe probably outside your house, right? That needs to be um, fixed, right? That will provide you the service, right? So now as we go to the right, you will see uh, the ticket has to be in progress. What's the impact? Is is it critical, right? Is it um high impact? Because if you lose water, then it's, it's a critical component, right? And who is basically going to look after it? Right, so we spoke about engineers and specialists, right? And let's say it's network engineers, right? Who will be um uh, basically looking after it. So before I move forward and and show you, right? Um, let's save this form, right? And as we save it, right? And and now on this form, this is a a request or incident that we were talking about, uh, if you remember back on the slides. Now, um, the service is part of the CMDB. The service offering is part of the CMDB. And also the configuration item is part of the um, four quadrants, right? Um, earlier, as you remember. Now, if we go inside, right, then you will see the relationship, right? So it's quite a um, few relationships here, right? And as you can see on the top, right, the HR here capability as you can see right it falls to a service right so um it means um if we have uh electricity or or a light that's been busted probably because there's a faulty wiring right and because we have identified that the network gear is the one that faults right then it's easy to fix because uh, we already know right, what is the root cause of the problem, right? And we have identified is a network gear. Now this network gear basically falls down into a form, 
right? So this is um, part of the CNDB. So earlier I showed tables, right? So um, it is a repository of different um, classes or types, right? And it's your house, you have a kitchen, right? You have a bathroom and, and so on. Um, and you have a dining table. So, uh, so this is what we're talking about. So this is a type that supports right the um, capability and in this example it's email right and the email has been um, impacted so from here you can uh, identify and now as as you have identified what is um, the relationship or what is the root cause of a problem now if we can go back right to the main ticket right then the network team can easily fix because they know where the problem is. So that's the main um, goal of the CMDB is um, to give information, right? On what is um, being impacted, who is the person to call to when needed, because um, all of that information is already stored inside a directory. So it's like yellow pages, right? Um, um, if you need something, right? You know, you know who to call, you know who to find because you know what is being um, impacted on this particular disruption that you're having. So thank you so much for this time and, and a very good question. And I look forward to that you have learned from this lesson. Please do not forget to like and subscribe. I'll speak to you soon.